Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we're going to continue our Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Iron Man run with Chapter 14, Training. Uh, I am going to see if we can do a three chapter video, because uh, the next chapter after that would be 17 by the time we finish, in which I would like that whole thing to be one video as well. If you guys know Chapter 17, it is a four part chapter that it goes through the Serenus Forest and basically it's going to take us a while so if I could make that one video that'd be great but no promises we'll see how this goes so let's get right into it um, the Benyat Empire the largest nation on the continent is a theocracy dedicated to the goddesses of Shura reigning from the summit of the empire the, the guiding and guiding the world with the voice of the goddess the apostle Sanaki rules Benyat as a Shura's chosen vessel, the Apostle is showered with love and respect from the entire nation. Seven Imperial Senators aid the Apostle in the governance of her realm. This system of government has been the backbone of Benyon for many long centuries. After Ike and his company aid the Apostle, her Holy Guard takes them to the Imperial capital, Sien. <coughs> the upper class of Benyon society live lives of pampered comfort and luxury, known as the Sainted. These elite power brokers reside in massive temple-like homes whose, ins whose spires dominate the skyline. The guiding tower overlooks all from the heart of the city. Here, Ashura holds her vigil, watching over the world. Surrounding the tower is a series of temples, both large and small, placed in an orderly, systematic fashion. One temple, however, is conspicuously larger than the others. It is the Grand Temple of Mainal, home of the Apostle. Ike and his company, used to the freedoms of the Crimea, find the differences in culture and custom to be very confusing. It's a little backstory, back uh, story there. Information for you. Chapter 14, Training. <coughs> My now Cathedral. <clears throat> now that you have proclaimed yourself to be the orphan of Crimea's King Raymond, Princess Alincia Rydell Crimea, correct? Yes. I have heard stories that King Crimea had a daughter in secret. My men have reported as much to me in the past. However, whether you are that princess or not is another tale. Do you have nothing that would lend uh, credence to your claims? Nothing at all. It took all my energy simply to avoid capture by Dan. I had no time to secure any proof of my claim. Hmm. And the crown prince reigning also dead. There is no one who, can even, who even knows your face. What am I to do? I will vouch for her. My lord Ike. I have no doubt that Princess Valencia is the true heir to the throne of Crimea. Oh really, and tell me, what gives you the strength of conviction? If we believe her story, this woman has not engaged with the outside world since the day she was born. So how is it that you, a lowly mercenary, dare to assert her authenticity? The Dane army pursues her with bloody-minded determination. At every turn, they demand that we turn Princess Valencia over to them. What further proof do you need? Hmm, if someone of proper standing made that pronouncement, I would accept it as irrefutable proof. But you, you're a commoner. You have no surname, no documented lineage, lineage. You have nothing. I know commoners. They are poor. For a price, they will support any lie, no matter how outlandish. Now, I suppose you will tell me this: you are the son of some sort of noble house. No, of course not. But wait, perhaps you are a well knight of Crimea. I am neither a noble nor a knight. I have no connection with the palace whatsoever. And no matter how much gold I stood to gain, I would not betray my convictions. Lindsay has paid us, yes, but nothing more than a standard fee to purchase our services as her escort, nothing more. We have come this far only because we believe in Lindsay to be a woman of integrity. We would not sell our swords to a liar. I don't care how high and mighty you might be, I will not stand here and let you mock the bond of trust that ties us to Lindsay. My lord Ike! How dare you? How, who are you to address the apostle so crudely? Guards! Seize this man! For this abuse of the apostle, the penalty can only be death. Halt! Ha <laughs> Sephirin was right about you. You are very interesting. Apostle? Sephirin, the monk we rescued from the prisons. A monk, was it? He disguises as our Sokler. It never ceases to amaze me. As always, he remains an enigma. Heed my words. Sephirin is, in truth, Duke Bel Belsies, Prime Minister of Benyon, and most my most trusted advisor. He has been traveling neighboring lands for months, trying to ascertain the condition of the people there. We have received detailed reports on Princess Alencia and the mercenary company serving as her escort. So you knew we were coming. You knew who we were all along. Yes, I apologize for testing you. You see, life here in the palace is dreadfully dull. 
I am always so very bored. Thanks to the princess and her brazen little escort, this interrogation proved to be an most amusing diversion. Oh, ho, ho, so that's what it was. Very like, very like, how very like you, Apostle. A cunning game of wits and words, simply smashing. Even your most loyal servant, Duke Oliver of Tennis, all, was on the verge of being completely fooled. I am humbled. Oh, ho, ho, come, Duke Lacane. <laughs> it was all ruse, was it? Oh, Apostle, you do tease us so mercifully. Still, I was not in such a bad way to amuse ourselves, was it, Duke Hetzel? Ooh, too true, my du good Duke. Princess Crimea, it appears that you have put a quiet smile on the face of our beloved apostle. What an honor that must be, hoo <laughs> hoo. Um, yes, I suppose. Madness! Ah yes, I forgot on all the fun, Saffron has already vouched for your identity as the true princess of Crimea. I require, require no further proof. You may rest easy. I am most grateful. Wait a minute. Yes? What is the meaning of this? You knew Alicia was the Princess Crimea, and you continue to humiliate her for her own for your own entertainment? For some stupid game of wits and words? This is no joke. Alicia's homeland is lost to her. Her family has been hunted down, killed by the monsters of Dane, and with nowhere else to turn, she endures mortal danger and terrible heartbreak to reach your door. And then you laugh at her. Where is the humor in that? Where is your decency? You're horrible. You are all horrid people. You disgust me beyond words. You owe Alicia a proper apology. My lord Ike, please. Wretched peasant, you loose that tongue, that treacherous tongue once more, and... Duke Lacane, strain yourself. But I am speaking. Be still. Arrgh. Now then, Ike, I fully understand your feelings. Your passion for your employer is truly a beautiful thing. With that, my own fawning vassals shared your commitment. However, truth be told, your behavior does test my patience. Raise your voice once more to me, and you will seriously damage the princess's already precarious position. Do you understand? Not really. Why don't you fill me in? Even if, if Valencia is true, truly Crimean royalty, she is at best heir to a dead country, nothing more. Without Benyon's support, Valencia's claim holds no meaning. Am I mistaken? Puh! Even if we harm her fragile feelings, for the sake of her country's future, she must stand by and say nothing. In fact, she is in no position to do anything but beg for Benyon's favor, or hadn't she noticed. I have much to consider. For now, I shall take my leave of you. I will meet with my senators soon and discuss the state of affairs. Crimea's future will not be uncertain for long. Until that time, I suggest you rest and relax. Perhaps you can try your hand at our courtly games of wits and words. What incredible nerve to take advantage of our situation and speak down to us like that. I don't care if she's the Empress or the Apostle or whatever. I can't stand her. Listen, Ike, isn't it possible that the Apostle saved you? What? Titania is correct. Benyon is a nation ruled by time-honored custom and ancient conventions. You insulted the apostle, the very symbol of their way of life. The fact that you are still breathing is a miracle. I hadn't realized. And as her escort, your criminal behavior would fall directly on your employer, Princess Alencia. If you had truly anchored the apostle, any hope of restoring Crimea would have vanished like a puff of smoke. That's madness. They would sacrifice a whole country to satisfy their own egos. Ike, this may not be much of an answer, but letting madness roll the day is the pr uh, pr prerogative of nobility. The, the Bioric divide themselves into classes, and with classes come prejudice. From the moment of our birth to our final dying gra gasp, we commoners know we are not allowed to defy the upper classes. Princess Alencia, I I'm sorry. My ignorance does not excuse my stupidity. I am truly sorry. No, I... I, what you said, you said in my defense and in my honor. It made me very pleased. Huh? To see you so angry on my behalf, your words filled my heart. It wasn't as noble as you make it sound. However, there is one point that I would contest. It is true that I've lost my family and my home. But I did have people to turn to, people to rely on. My lord Ike, you and your company were at my side. For me, this has been a great source of inspiration and, and of happiness. My lord, I please call me Alencia. Huh? That would be improper, wouldn't it? I mean, you're my, you're our employer, and you called me so earlier. I did? Really? You didn't notice? No, I. Uh, my apologies. I'll be more careful. Well, I suppose we should go. They've prepared room for us. Oh, my lord, Ike. And here's our summary from the last battle. Nothing majorly important. We got Astrid uh, reunited with Gaytree, and Boy was MVP. Obviously, he did a great job, and he didn't die. <laughs> you guys saw my last video. Info, servant. Psst, you want to hear something? There's a rumor going around that a tiger subhuman has been seen off the foggy banks of this very river. 
Eh? What? You don't seem surprised. Alright, then how about this? That subhuman, they say it's always in beast form. It can't change back. Right frightening, ain't it? The only way for us humans to fight these them savages is wait for them to change out of beast form. I mean, how can we kill them if they won't change? Still no reaction, eh? What a bore. I was about this juicy morsel then. What was saving it, I was, but I heard from them darling in the army that tigers, cats, and other four legged civilians hate fire magic. That's a useful tidbit, ain't it? I, I know things. You there, serving wrench. There's work to be done. Why are you wasting time chattering all? W what's wrong? Just saying hello to one of the new servants is all. You fool, this is no cert. I. Oh. What? Oh, crikey, Princess Kaimia's escort? I guess of the apostle? Oh my gosh, please, please forgive me. What should I do? Oh, you look very angry. He did. I might get s sacked. <laughs> Gaitry. Well, if it isn't I. Out, of a out for a walk, Commander? Hello, Gaitry. Yeah, if I stay in that horrible, gaudy room for too long, I start to feel depressed. Is that why you're out here, too? No, I'm here for different reasons. I'm just admiring the flowers. Oh, right. Yes, they all seem to be in bloom this time of year. The large yellow ones are especially pretty. Not those flowers. Those flowers. Gaitry, we're inside. There's nothing here but the temple handmaids. Exactly. That's like a whole new species of girls living in Banyan. Everyone in this palace is drop-dead gorgeous. You know what I mean, I <laughs> Say, which one strikes your fancy? That buxom lasso with the chestnut hair is... Hey, Ike! Bah! He's still just a boy. Astrid. Um, Commander Ike? Oh, it's you. Are you trying to clear your head as well? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just walking around and thinking about things. Banyan is so odd. I don't understand this country at all. Hmm, I can see that. Everything's so wrapped up in the form of tradition. It feels like Banyan has lost track of more important things. You're some noble's house daughter, are you not? What made you decide to become a knight? To escape my royal family. No, not to escape, but to confront it. I want my life to be on my own. How do you like being a knight? I'm still not satisfied. I may not. I may now be a knight, but my hands still shake when I draw my bowstring. So perhaps my goal is not simply to become a knight. Perhaps my true goal is to become stronger. Commander Ike, the others say that you never give up, no matter how bleak the fight. That seems like true strength to me. Please, allow me to continue fighting by your side. If I remain with you, I will go stronger from your example. Your skill with the bow is spectacular. How could I possibly refuse your request? We're pleased to have you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Astrid is literally, in my opinion, one of the best characters in the game. So long as she does level up decently. And with her Paragon, she literally levels up quite quickly. Uh, a lot of people, I, I know, like to complain that she she's hard to train because she's so weak. But if you guys saw my last video, it's way too easy, to be honest. Marcia. Ah. Uh. That was quite a sigh. Huh? Oh, nuts, you heard that, handsome? Sorry about that. You've been behaving oddly lately. Something happened? I'm fine. It's just, well, being here in Ibanya is difficult, you know? Difficult? You were a member of the Pegasus Knights here, weren't you? Aren't you happy to see some of your old friends? No, I'm not happy. It's so blasted embarrassing. I can't bear to face them. What? I told you why I resigned my knighthood, haven't I? Yes, you're searching for your, uh, uh, your brother. It's my brother's fault. Ah. Ugh, that no good chum bucket. Um, maybe you should just drop it. Huh? Oh, no, it's... Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't let it get to you too much. I want. I don't want you to get distracted in a fight, alright? Got it. Thanks. I have a brother, too. So why is he so different from my brother? Ugh, <sighs> lazy do-nothing. Any supports? Mm. Kieran, Marcia, Marcia, Gaitry... That's fine, we can do Marcia and Karen. Oh, I would love a chance to train with a Pegasus Knight. You can only increase my um, already mighty skills. Oh, here comes one now. Marcia! Huh? Uh, <clears throat> I would like to have your pleasure of, uh, oh, pardon me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name, I already know who you are, Crying Royal Knight, 5th Platoon, Captain Karen. Did I get that right? How do you know my name? Not to mention my pose. Maybe it was my fame that I won during my last battle? No, I was only semi-glorious. Um, perhaps I have injured you and yours with your past trans transgression. Are you here to revenge yourself on me? No. Oh, then tales of my valor must have spread to other countries. Perhaps you know of the time I slew the giant spider of... Nah, that's pushing it. But it is possible. Let's see. It's also possible that... Hey, meathead! Oh, uh, what? Don't scare me like that. We all know your name. You announce yourself every time we fight. I am Crimean Royal Knight, 5th Platoon Captain Kieran. See me and tremble. 
Well, that explains it. So, how can I help you? Huh? Didn't you want to ask me something? Oh, that's, uh, wh what did I want to ask you? Blast! What was it? No, that's not it. Right. Well, you come find me whenever you remember. Jeez, I think this guy's helmet is on too tight. Ha, <laughs> hilarious. Mist and Jill. Oh, there you are. Back again, miss? Uh-huh, because you didn't join us for supper again. No one wants to share the table with a Dane soldier. It would ruin the meal. My brother says he doesn't care. He says that. And I'm just glad to have someone close to my age traveling with us. So come on, let's go eat something. I, I can't. Sorry. I see. Well then, I'll just have to bring the food to you. I'll be right back. But hold on a second. Alright. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright. Um, I don't think we have anything to give right now. Yeah, so... That's that. Uh, EXP-wise, I believe we're okay as of right now. So, I'm going to do a couple of things in the outfit, and then I'll get right back to you guys just like before. So, hang tight. Alright, so, I didn't do too much. Basically, dump the inventories again like always. Um, I did buy Mist a torch, because this map is going to have Fog of War, and she can get EXP by using the torch staff as well. In fact, I think this might be like the only chapter I can use the torch staff, so yeah, once we're done with it, we can get rid of it. Um, gave Astrid a steel bow. I gave Jill the sword band just for now, just so she has something to use. Um, otherwise, the Lagoo's Guard will be hers to hold on to for now, because on uh, the next chapter after this one, we will be finding more Lagoos, and since she could fly around, it will be easier for her to use it than someone else. So, other than that, I think that's it. Um, I bought a couple weapons, but, you know, just putting in the convo for now. And no, I'm not going to use Gay Tree, so I should actually get rid of this stuff. Um, yeah, that speed is just atrocious to me. And the fact that he didn't level, like, great up to this point is just kind of sad to me. So, to me, I'm going to just t uh, toss him aside. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's leave the base. I am so bored. We've been here for five days already, and there's absolutely nothing to do. They gave me free reign to wander the temple, but I've seen everything. I'm tired of it. it. I take it Princess Alencia has been invited to yet another social gathering. A little time off is one thing, but this? I guess I'll get in some fencing practice. Ike, the captain of the Apostles' Holy Guard is headed this way. I beg your pardon. Are you and your missionary company enjoying your stay here in Benyon? Is there anything you find wanting? There's nothing to do, and Mrs. is bored. Ah, uh, Ike, why did you have to say that? Weren't you complaining about that the exact same thing to me? You said you were bored and tired of everything. That doesn't mean you should go spouting it out to everyone. Oh, you're such an idiot, Ike. My apologies. Neither of them meant any offense. They're just frustrated. Yes, I understand that. I will pay it no mind. Did you, did you have some reason to come speaking with us? I bring word from the Apostle. She wishes to charge you with a task. The Apostle wants to employ us? I didn't expect this. Expect what? Your reaction. I thought, I'd have thought that you would be spouting and fuming at the thought of working for the Apostle. If Princess Alencia can tolerate endless social gatherings to judge Benyon's mood and garner her favor, the least I can do is help her earn points by running an errand or two. Hmm. Ike, they're coming. So we lay in wait for them here, right? Yes, the Apostle's orders were clear. Stop the band of merchants traveling on the old highway and seize their cargo. This does look to be the best spot for an ambush. Alright, I don't know who we're facing, but we're on the job. Let's do this right. A poor crop this time around. Cats, tigers, and a few crows. All we've got are laborers. We're not going to get rich with this. Ah, oh, and we worked so hard to catch them. Is it that is it as bad as that all that? I've been selling half breeds for 25 years. The ones that fetch the highest price are the trophy herons. And if they're white winged royals, the fanatics will empty their purses for every last coin. Well, in that case, why don't you go to the Serenus Forest next time? There might be some of them left. You're the brains of a dead raven. Why do you think the herons are so expensive? It's because they're rare. It's been 20 years since that mob bird Serenus. The herons are all roasted like chickens. No matter how you look at it, that was utter lunacy. All that gold up in smoke. Oh, well, if they're so valuable, I can see one with my own eyes and catch it and put it in a cage. Idiots. What could you buy with all that gold? A new axe? Oh, some furry boots, too. Shut up, fool. 
Stop your daydreaming and look over there. What? Who are they? Ah, look alive, lads. They're not common travelers. Here they come. Titania, are we sure this is the right bunch? This fog makes it hard to see, but their numbers and appearance match our intelligence. It must be them. Well, they've certainly seen us. They're raiding their weapons. Very well. Get ready to fight, everyone. Alright. Uh, I believe that's all we need. Yep. And I'm going to have Mordecai in just so he can smite people across the map. Um, Flyers, Marcia, Jill will go on the left side. Um, I'll probably have Ashley go up the middle with most people. I'll miss go left as well. Yeah, the bulk of my army will go up the center because they're pretty strong. I think Kieran should go left as well. And that should be good. Save just in case my game crashes. Alright, we spent 21 minutes. Wow, that was a lot of dialogue. Alright, so let me get started here. I don't know what's in the fog, so I'm gonna have Miss go right here, use the torch staff, and see what's up. There's a bandit. Simple bandit. Let's see if we can kill him. Should probably keep my distance for now since I don't know what's in the fog. And of course, like Kieran, he's still hitting me with low hit rates. This guy is very bulky, my goodness. Alright, um, let's see. Perfect kill for Sorn. Let's do that. And it's a level up. One resistance. Fantastic. That's what the Paladin Band helps do. <laughs> nope. Wow, that was absolutely pathetic. Alright. I uh, need Bulk to move up a little bit so I can help me see. There's another guy. Can I hit him without killing him? Yes. So that's perfect. Ouch. Of course I got hit. And actually, can get the kill. Excellent level. Thank you. At least someone levels up good. Alright, I'll have Boyd move up. He can use his bow just to kill this guy. Like, A, I gotta train my bow. B, enemies will most likely attack Boyd. Uh, therefore, drawing all of them in, and I can start attacking them one by one. I do believe there's a bandit to our right side as well, so I'll have where I sit there to guard. No one else can move up for now. I actually have Oscar go over this way as well, because I feel like there's going to be more enemies. So I might as well just kill this guy now and prepare for more. Fights. And somewhere in the fog, who is this? Makalov. Ah, oh, what terrible luck. My sixth sense told me what the, told me that the weather would be nice today. Hey, grumbling and whining won't pay off your debt. Come on, beautiful. Cough up my gold. I'd dearly love to pay you, but unfortunately I'm broke. Not again. You're employed as a bodyguard. Why don't you have enough gold to pay me back? When we get back to the base, I'll get what's mine. Try to run on your pain and pain. Find all you like. I can't give you what I don't have. Oh, I hope that sounded brave. Oh dear, what am I going to do? Seems like I've got. I, I must go crawling back to my dear sister once again. Oh, she's going to be so mad. But in the end, I'm sure she'll help. After all, it's all for the life of her brother. Right, tonight I pay a little visit to the barracks of the Sacred Pegasus Knights. 
Just FYI, I hate Makalov. He's a terrible character. I hate him so much. We should all try and work together as much as possible. Ouch. skill defense. Alright, that's not too bad. I'll have Marcia visit this village here. Oh, bother. Buying all these things is well good, but I simply can't carry it all. And where's Largo? He leaves me in this backwater burg and wanders off to goddess knows only where. Hello? Oh, you there. Today's your lucky day. You've arrived at just the right time. I have something nice to give you. I've got back from a shopping spree and I got this free bonus of sorts. Oh please, no need to thank me. When you are a sophisticated like so sophisticate like me, you never want for you never want for trinkets or men for that matter. Well, to do then be sure to treasure that for the rest of your days. And which way to the nearest city? Spirit does. Okay, cool. And then I could come over here and kill Oscar with mist. I'll use Jill to attack from range. Mist. Okay. Mist, mist. Nah. So that's river. So if I go right here, I should be fine. Alright, cool. Now this guy over here. Let's attack with Volk. I, I got hit. Wow. That's terrible. Not able to finish, are you? Chance to finish. Let's see what's up ahead. No one attacked Void, so that's good. Uh, I'll let they move up as well. Hello. Perfect timing. I can actually kill this dude. Uh, ooh, I missed. In that case, I should have just used my bow from the get go. I was going to miss, anyways. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know what else is in, out there, so I gotta be very careful. I'll even heal Ike with Vulnery just in case. So yeah, I have Astrid and Volk work together on this guy then. Maybe I can kill him? I miss. That was typical. But I won't die, so I should be fine. Yeah, because I don't know what's out there. Doesn't look like anything could get past there, so I'll just move right here. And Soren should be fine to move up right here. Alright. Volk got hit again. That's so bad. He has such good avoidability and he keeps getting hit. It's like, that's terrible. What's up, Archer? Ouch. Boy, if you're going to get a crit, get it on the first one. <laughs> the goose, though. Ouch. Ouch. Dang, that guy hurts. Uh-oh. Got more people. They're crushing us. They're nothing but a pack of rats, but they fight like demons. Ah, but no matter how tough they are, there's no way they can step to a real monster. Hey, you there. Release the feral. Uh, now all I have to do is sit back and watch them chew their heads clean off. Alright. I need a heal. My goodness. Guys are packing a punch, that's for sure. 
One slice and Jill's HP is already half. It's crazy. I guess I should keep to my distance and keep using the hand axe. Hello. Nice crit. There we go, Oscar. Good job. Should be able to finish this guy off. Yeah, that's another level for her. Strength, skill, luck. Awesome. The more strength she gets, the better. And now Volk is badly damaged, so I don't know if I want to even send him back in there. I also got this dude over here. Let me kill him. Um, can you do it, Soren? Perfect kill. Awesome. I still can't believe I'm a level, what, 17 was it? And my Soren still only has rank E, Fire, and Thunder. And then D, Wind. I just got D, Wind on the last chapter. Or was it D or C? C. C. So it's not like I've been using only Wind. Like, I haven't even bought any Magic Tomes. And look how much uses each one has. Like. That's crazy. And I'm what? Level 18 now. That's, that's insane. Alright, you kill him. Perfect. And the boy gets a level up. Please be good. There you go. That's a decent level. Because of the, how much damage we are taking lately, I'm gonna just sit there for now. Uh, if I could steal this guy's vulnerability, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, look, there's a mercenary here. He'll attack Ike or Titanium most likely. Oh no, he can attack Boyd. Never mind. Either way, that's fine. Um, but I'm gonna just use Volk to move up. I might as well just heal. I could steal a, few uh, steal a few things here, that's why I'm going to keep using him. Ouch. Ouch. Dodge. So Makalov must be in the back still. I don't remember how far he is ahead. Kieran can kill this dude. Ouch. There he is. Yeah, perfect. So let's just talk to him. Brother? Hey Marcia, hey, long time, huh? Good timing though. I was just thinking about paying you a visit, sis. Long time. Long time, you dung heel. Where in the name of heaven have you been? You racked up all that debt and then ran away. You're such an irresponsible skunk. Thanks to your worthless hide, I had to leave the sacred Pegasus night. Huh? But why? Because there are a bunch of debt collectors hanging around the barracks, that's why. Oh. That's a shame. Listen, I was trying to increase the money I borrowed and pay off the original, but it, um, vanished. And I swear that kept, that, that just kept happening. I don't want to get enough and then poop, gone. Uh, you rat, you cheese-eating rat, you haven't changed at all. Let's go, you're coming with me. With you? Where are we going? What am I going to do? You're enjoying my company. I'm going to let, you, let Ike beat some sense into you. We'll see how that works. No, wait, I'm working with these guys at the moment and, well, if I just up and join with the other side, I might just cause problems. 
Stop it, SpongeBain. No more lame excuses. Follow me now. Sorry, sis. I'm coming. Yep, worst character. Alright. So you need to heal again. Why not? I don't think there's anyone that will kill us, but I'm going to take the red gem just in case, because I don't want to lose that. Let me see if there is anyone out here. Doesn't look like it, so we should be okay. I'm going to move up with everybody. Alright, this archer is in range. Perfect. So I can move aside. Ooh, can I steal this one? No, I cannot. Okay, so I'll just kill him. Yeah, why not? Kill him, Mike. I probably use Volk to just kill that guy as well. I'm getting adept a lot when it actually doesn't matter. So that's good and bad. It's a good sign that he will use it quite often, but it's bad because I'm getting when I don't need it. And I don't know if it, remember if the boss moves, so actually I probably should have healed. This might be bad. I don't think he moves though. If he does, that's not gonna end up good for us. Not the boss. this guy. Yes, we can. Perfect. Lovely. That's another level for Astrid. She's catching up with the other uh, knights. And it's another good level. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Um, we can't see in the fog, so we need to be careful. Alright, so there's the boss. These tigers shouldn't move, so we don't have to worry about them. The boss definitely could have moved last turn, so I don't think he moves at all. Which will allow us to actually kill this guy as well. And I believe there, there was a clear bonus if we finished on turn 5, we would get bonus EXP, but obviously I'm not going to risk that. Well, I didn't rather, because uh, we're gonna. We, there's no one else here who can kill the boss right now, so that's just how it's gonna be. I could have swore there's more enemies, because now my guys are all over here doing nothing. Maybe I was wrong. sworn there's more people. I found this in the river, but my mom said it was dirty, and I had to go throw it away. Do you want it? Really? Alright, you can have it. Take care of it, please. Secret book. Eh? Did you say cattle? A, a battle? Stranger? What? Oh, danger! Goodness, what am I going to do? And maybe this will help. Deary, it's just lying here collecting dust, just like me. Never a visitor. Anyway, I don't know what it does, but it's pretty good. Er, it's pretty. If I give it to my grandkids, they might ride on it once in a while. Here, take it now. Do me a favor and protect my house, alright? No, my house. A mouse? Where? <laughs> Funny. Alright. Um, I'm going to stay in front of this just in case. Because I could have sworn there's more enemies. I don't see anyone, though. That's very weird.
Hey you, why don't you lay down your weapons and walk out of here with your lives? You can posture posture as much as you want. But there's no way you can beat us. Should it? If I don't I don't know why you're here, but if we lose our cargo, we lose everything. It ain't happening. In that case we have no choice. You'll receive no mercy from us. Ah, there's somebody. I knew there were more people. And with that, Miss gets a level. I had the mage ban on and I didn't get magic again. That's so bad. Um, by the way, here's Makalov. So, if you guys remember what I said about Cavaliers and how my Oscar was not leveling up good in the beginning, I don't like it when Cavaliers levels over, you know, over go over their stats. And in this case, being at level 10 and his max, uh, his highest stats are speed and defense at 10. Uh, to me, he's not a good unit because by that standard, he will not be able to max anything out unless he increases speed every single level. So that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, that's why I don't like Makalov as well. He sucks. Um, and he's a sword knight, so he has to use swords, which is the weakest weapon in the game. And overall, it's just not a good combo, in my opinion. Not saying he can't be a good unit, but in my opinion, he's just not somebody I need to be using at all. This guy's hard to hit. Nice dodge, Kieran. Nice double hits as well. I can always rely on Kieran to do stuff, right? One hit's always good. And then Jill can actually get the kill. Possibly. Excellent. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone left. I'll put Mackle off here just in case. Um, over here, Vulcan finish off the archer. And he gets a level. HP, skill, and speed. Alright, well, whatever. Typical level from a uh, thief. Alright, so, yeah, none of these guys move. And the objective is to defeat the boss. So I can actually kill the tigers first. Look at Soren, just parping to death every single turn. Like, oh my gosh. Please do that later in the future when I need you to do it. It could be a life or death situation. I missed with an 83? My goodness. Okay. Dang, this guy is killer, to say the least. I will have to use range to kill him, so... Let's get all my range guys in. And I think if we bring him down to a low enough HP, he will start moving, so I do need to be careful in that regard. Don't miss. <laughs> it's good EXP. Look at that. Just from shooting him. That's crazy. And we'll just give Soren the kill because, uh... I want Soren to level up and transform into his next class. That way he can start using staves. Um, I need two healers. I can't just keep using miss. Excellent level. There you go. Rishi got either HP, Strength, or Defense, but whatever, that's fine. Those aren't supposed to be his stats anyways. Alright, so now we can position ourselves to fight this guy. I don't think he'll move even if we attack him, so this should be fine. You, you're just like us. You eat meat. You ride horses. I mean, come on. We're not hurting any humans here. What's wrong with buying and selling a few half-breeds? Nice hit. Every little hit uh, matters, right? Leave it at that. Alright, now that we are all here, we should be able to attack him, no problem. 
Watch it. Watch Soren get adept on him and kill him. That'd be hilarious. Nope, no adept. So perfect 18 damage. It's great. So now someone else can actually get the kill. Alright, who wants it? Astrid? Probably not Astrid, since, since this guy's a boss. If Marcia can hit, that'd be great. 50%, let's go! Aww. Never mind. In that case, Astrid gets the kill. Because I don't think anyone really benefits her. Maybe Ike. You know, maybe they should get Ike the kill. Ooh, god, that's scary. Never mind. <laughs> Range it is. How did this happen? I've lost everything. I should have used Mist one more time. Oh well. Strength, skill, and speed. Perfect. Our duty is done. Let's grab the cargo and get out of here. Alright, this mission took, or this whole video so far, is 46 minutes. I don't know. We might not be able to do the next two in, you know, a couple, maybe an hour and a half. The Grow Merchants have returned. Well done. The news of victory is welcome as the cargo receives now. About to prepare me. Wait, this mysterious cargo is a bunch of really heavy crates. Would you tell me what they contain? That... Your job was to deliver the cargo. You, you've no need to investigate further. But Princess Alessia has returned to her quarters. You would do well to inform her of your safe return. It appears that the apostle will handle your payment on tomorrow. Perhaps you can speak with her then. I beg your leave. I must be going. Very well. Thank you all for coming, my fellow Lagoos Kings. I have, it has been decades since all of us were gathered in one place. I would extend my gratitude to King Designate Diginsi of Godea, who arranged this meeting uh, place at short notice. It was nothing, King Canegus. Hello, kings and countrymen, tend to my words. As you no doubt heard, Dane has invaded Crimea and overrun her. Of course, Crimea is a barrack nation. However, since the time of her founding, she has made every effort to engage the Lagoos with honor and dignity. Never has there been more true than there never have has this been more true than during the thirty year reign of good King Raymond. During this era, Gallia and Crimea initiated many ambitious cultural projects in an attempt to bring our divided people closer. Yet one man has always reviled, reviled our work, the King, Dane King, Ashnard. Why he took this recent course, however, I know not. Ashnard's actions are monstrous. His army has put much of Crimea to the sword. Her people live in terror, her king lies dead, and now the Indian forces continue their righteous, their ruinous march uh, across the border into Lagoos territory, into Gallia. That trespass, so King Alliance, is because your country chooses to harbor King Crimea's orphan, is it not? Yes, that is the justification they would present, but the princess of Crimea is no longer in Gallia, is she? Your spies are as efficient as ever, King Tavern of Nisus. 
As you say, the princess has already departed for Benyon. I know this only because she came to the aid of a ship carrying Benyon's apostle. Ah, so Princess Valencia is safe and has contact Benyon Empire? That, that news gladdens my heavy heart. I do not believe that Dane yet has this information. If word got out that the Princess Crimea has been granted sanctuary in Benyon, Dane might halt its invasion of Gallia. Your information is dated, Hawk King. Have your, have your legendary eyes and ears dang you after all these years? You have something you wish to say? Would you be so kind as to explain yourself, King Kilvis? Princess Elencir barely escaped Crimea with her life and then fled to Gallia. And yet a certain king of beasts there, one on, one on whom she had pinned all hope, chose not to support her. With nowhere else to turn, the princess and her retinue spent two long months at sea, arriving in on mere days ago. Dane knows all of these events as well, and the king dispatched a team of hunters to make a corpse of the girl. And that, dear kings, is the latest news, at least to the best of my poor knowledge. Dane knows the princess in Benyon? King Killis, how did you come to possess this information? Right, there's no trick to it. I just perk up my ears and point them in the right direction. You expect us to believe that a stray wind carried it to your ears? This is an odd tale, Nixala. Hmm, do you think so? Well, there is one trick to information gathering I know. Shall I share it with you? If it involves dealing with human scum, I'll pass. Foregoing my Lagoo's pride is not something I'm willing to do. Ha! Huh, that is not always the way of Phoenicia to cling to those last tattered remnants of pride. Instead of proclaiming that you will attack none but Benyon ships, just admit that you don't have the power to do more. What did you say? Both of you would assist at once. King Nesala of Kilvis, your actions of late can indeed be judged as too extreme. Black Dragon King of Goldea, what do you pretend to know of my actions? Please, enlighten me. I will remind you of the Bjork ship you attacked in Phoenician waters and left stranded in Goldean territory. Oh, that. He saw you, lying crow. You've been sneaking around in my territory again, have you? I heard from my own son, Chris Naga, that Bjork, resembling Princess Crimea, was on board that ship. It is true. What? King Kilos, you. Don't act surprised. I have no intention of ruling some tiny island nation forever. I will make Kilos a name to remember. To that end, no amount of gold is enough. Lagoos or Bjorn, I care not. If the pay is right, there's nothing I won't do. I care not about the reach of your ambition, but you should choose your methods with more care. What good will it do to expand your domain only to find enemies at your every border? I will take your words to heart for the time being. And you too, King Phoenicius. What good will your piracy do you if it earns you the wrath of Danyon? Continue at this pace, and there's no telling when the hostilities will end. Until the people of Banyan uh, apologize for the slaughter of our brother Herons, I will do no such thing. Prince Raisin of Serenus, are you the same of mine? Those humans burned Serenus' forest and killed my people. No amount of human blood can slake my thirst for vengeance. For my siblings, for my countrymen, I demand justice. I cannot even return to my bedridden father to our. I can't even return my bedridden father to our forest home. I am no soldier. I know nothing of war. So King Finish acts in my stead. I am most grateful to him, and I would not see him stop until Benyon has paid. Blood leads only to blood. Violence be begets violence. Nothing more. Revenge is, a, is simply another name for murder. And you, King of Lions, what will you do about your home of Gallia? Now that you know Dan's faint toward, faint toward Gallia is merely another move in its game of war, how will you act? They've made no formal declaration of war. Until they do, we watch and wait. If it's the first step towards eradication of all human scum, Phoenicius will help you destroy Dane. No, unless this becomes a true war among all nations, I want you to stay your hand. As long as Gallia is protected by the Sea of Trees, we can stay off Dane's attacks. Ah, the luxury of a large nation. You would waste a chance to expand your territory just to maintain the status quo? Sad. I agree with King Gallia. If we were to form a Lagoo's alliance against Dane, we would drive Dane onto Dane's side and lose a valuable ally. The Flames of War cannot be fanned haphazardly. And above all, we must think of Laron's medallion. Its location is unknown. But it still exists. We know this, and as long as it does, we cannot allow any war that could stand to engulf all of our nations. Do you understand, Lagoo's Kings? I beg of you, do not forget it. Alright, wow, one chapter took 50 minutes. Let's, let's go. <laughs> okay, chapter 15, The Feral Frontier. Castle Kilvis. Oh my, if it isn't young Prince Serenus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Hey, Lucci, you're looking well. And feeling well, too, thank you very much. This old crow's spot as spry as ever. <laughs> Tell me, though, how fares your father, King? Oh, I accidentally pressed that too fast. The kid, same as ever, since that terrible day, he remains at a bed. His seldom right arises anymore. Hmm, I'm not surprised. In the span of a few days, he lost his family, his friends, and almost all of his countrymen. Yes. And yet, we are blessed that you are still with us. Prince Rayson, if there's anything this doddering old bird can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you, I appreciate your kind sentiment. Sorry to keep you waiting, Rayson. You know, Luchi, can you talk ancient history later? Leave us at once. Yes, of course. I'm sure you've much to talk about, much to say. I must take I'll just take my leave. Please, Prince Rayson, make yourself happy. Ugh, old Neology's always been fond of House Serenus. Whenever he heard the White Prince himself was gracious with his visit, he would barely contain his joy. So, Prince, what's this all about? We haven't seen your face around here in a long time, and I'm naturally quite curious as to your intentions. Your attitude during the Goldia meeting piqued my interest. What is it you're after, Nasala? Why do you provoke Tyburn? You came all this way for that? Are you serious? Do not mock me, Crow King. Tabar is my, fa my father's guardian. If not for him, we might have suffered the end of House Serenus itself. I will not brook any insults to him. Oh, I see. So rather than ally yourself with me, your trusted companion of old, you would side with this new protector? That's an unfortunate shift in attitude. I trust you remember that when you and your sister were young, it was I, and not Tabar, who watched over you. Any change in my bearing can be laid at your roost, Misala. After all, you, my old friend, are the one who continues to engage in commerce with the enemy, with humans. If you were to change your ways, I'm sure we could rebuild the relationship the two of us once shared. Oh no, I can never do that. You see, humans are essential to fulfillment of my ambitions. You've changed, Nisala. If this path if this is the path you've chosen, I've nothing left to say. I doubt you could ever understand what it means to guard kill this prince, to protect an entire country. King Nisala, Duke Tanis of the Benyon Imperial Senate has arrived. Bring him in. Your Majesty, just now, I brushed against the most splendid specimen. What was? Was that a Serenus noble? They are supposed to be extinct. And what if they were? Oh, I was right. Wonderful. My eyes did not deceive me. Those dazzling white wings and shimmering hair sparkling like falling gold dust. That is the crystallization of beauty in its purest form. Duke Oliver, can we please discuss the business at hand? Per your request, we have appropriated several pieces of art from the ships of Duke Gatos. Yes, yes, and you will be well compensated as promised. But right now, there's something else I simply must have. Really, another request. What can we prolong for you today? More art, perhaps? Oh, something much more stunning. If you agree to my proposition, I will double your normal fee. That is the most generous offer. Tell me, what is it you desire? Desire? But surely for a right guess. Meeting with the Apostle was fine and all, but... All she did was pay us and give us another job. She answered no questions. I wonder what she's playing. That cargo. I can't help but believe that there were living creatures inside, but what do you suppose the Apostle intends to do with them? I don't know, Titania. All knowers are royals like this. They have plans and paperwork for every little thing, and speech is confusing as is tedious. But Ike, the other nobles we know are different. There's Princess Alencia, King of Gallia, and the Dragon Prince, too. All of them have been so nice and friendly and easy to talk to. Perhaps the rudeness of the upper echelon is unique to the bureau class system. Princess Alentia was raised in special circumstances. Maybe that's why she's so different. Bah, I could never get accustomed to the culture of Bjorg nobles. And report. We got some we got 10k for our job. We got EXP, Bony CP, Boyd's MVP, Maclov's now part of our group, which I don't care. Oh man, this is a lot of dialogue. My goodness. Servant! Ahem, you are from the northwest nation of Crimea, are you not? You have my condolences for the terrible misfortune that has befallen your country and people. Yet you remain blessed. Fate has brought you here to the Grand Temple of Manal, to the splendor of Benyons, grandest of all the nations of Tellius. By the way, I hear you traveling north to the Grand Desert. There are ancient ruins there, you know. There are remnants of a race known as the Zuna Zunanma, who come from the civilization that predates our own. I'm sure you will enjoy the sensation of being immersed in such primordial surroundings. Uh, yeah, it would be a real picnic. Oh yes, picnics are indeed nice, but a word of caution. Studying the ruins from afar is one thing, but you would be well to advise to keep your distance, for safety's sake. It's said that there's a bandit stronghold near the northwest ruins, and we hear occasional reports of strange figures wandering the dunes in the northeast. Be careful. Sigrun, how are your preparations progressing? They're underway. We leave within the hour. Your next mission takes you to the Grand Desert. You must choose your companions with care. 
The desert is a large patch of sandy soil, is it not? Aha, uh -huh, with, with one ma major difference. Unlike sandy soil, you do not find solid earth near the surface. You can dig and dig and find only more sand. Those on foot and horseback may find it difficult to move around. I see, so I I'm sure that Soren knows this much about these things, but... Hmm, has something about fallen Master Soren. I don't know if he's feeling ill or just moping about. It all started when we arrived in Benyon. Oh. Be that as it may, it won't hurt me for it to have this information. Can you tell me more? Of course, there's little water in the desert and the soil is very dry. Few trees or grasses grow there, which means there are no groves or anything else which would provide cover. And as I mentioned before, those on foot and horseback will find land slows their pace considerably. The exceptions are magic users, staff rollers, and thieves. Such people will not be affected to such a large degree. These are agile, so I understand why they would be unaffected, but those skilled in the magical arts? That doesn't make sense. I once heard an explanation from a magic user that I know. He claimed that the spirits had employed had employed flu before him and cleared the sand from his path. However, concerning the source, I'm not sure how much that is true. Who was the source? Prime Minister Seferin. Would he play a joke like that? <laughs> well, the Prime Minister is a very amusing man, but please, allow me to continue my explanation. What else? Oh! Others who are unaffected stand by Pegasonites, Wyvern Riders, and other flying units. Oh, and Lagoos, too. Terrain features don't seem to affect them much in either form, although they, they will be slowed some. Said the Lagoos, didn't you? Almost everyone here says Subdemon. Well, of course. Bjork and Lagoos are both living things. Very precious life was created to be equal by the Blessed Goddess. The fact that there, is, there are still those who persecute Lagoos in the land of the Goddess is deplorable. Are you of a noble house? Yes, I am. I must be. I must be. One must be of noble birth to serve the Goddess. But I thought that all nobles were half crazed fools who can't speak the truth. You seem quite honest. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, and one last thing. What is it? The desert contains remnants of more than just one lost civilization. Rumor has it that treasures from those times still lie uncovered beneath the shifting sands. Those with good luck may come across those treasures during battle. And Maclaw. Hoo wee, the Grand Temple. Luxury and, go and gorgeousness as far as the eye can see. If a scoundrel like me can, like myself, can find employment in a place like this, I guess my luck hasn't abandoned me after all. But for the glitter and gold, there's an equal amount of dangerous work. Hmm. That I could do without. Maybe I can use my prone to illness ploy. <clears throat> yeah. I think I can arrange work about one out of every five jobs or so. And now that I've fixed an income, it's time to visit the local inns and see what games of chance are about. Evening. Well, you, you didn't happen to hear that. Why were you talking so loudly? Uh, I, was, I wasn't being serious. I am an extremely diligent man. Yes, I am. Those pillars you were with, you were in debt to them, right? Huh? How do you know that? When we took out that group, your debt vanished. Yes, that's right. That was a tremendous help. Thanks. Come now, you can't believe that the world is as forgiving as that, or that we are so foolish. What? Debts are debts, and you have many. Those peddlers weren't the only people you owed coin by you, right? We can't have debt collectors hounding the company day in and day out. My staff officer would pay the rest of the money you owe. That's very kind of you. It was from the company coffers. You, my friend, are now in our debt. You fight to repay the grail mercenaries. Ah, but, ah. Uh, payment will be deducted from your wages for quite some time. It seems you're working here for free, friend. Oh. Until your debts are completely repaid, don't even think about leaving the company or getting sick. Right then, I'll trust you to do your best. What a mess. Aw, oh, nuts. Alright, um... Um, can I help you? I have a question, is that alright? It depends on what you're going to ask. Why don't have pre- No, that's not right. Why don't the Lagoos use weapons? We Lagoos are born ready to fight. Weapons are something that you powerless Bureau created to counter our claws. We have no use for them. I see. Is that all you wanted to ask? No, there's more. Why do you detest us humans so much? That's a good question, but I would hear your answer first. Why do you Bureau hate the Lagoos? It's because they have pre- the Lagoos are our enemy. Enemy? If that's the case, we hate you too. As we hate all of our enemies. We're done here. Wait. Alright. Cool, cool. And again, so I don't really have any skills to give. I have Vantage, though. I don't know who would benefit from it right now. Because once you give a skill to someone, like, you can't take it off. So, um, I don't think anyone here really needs it. So, 
That's fine. So I'm going to do some outfitting again. Yeah, the video is starting to get longer and longer with every bit of dialogue we're getting, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I just bought a couple weapons. I uh, gave Volk a new dagger, as well as uh, Soren, another fire. I've used almost my entire fire up and I still haven't ranked up, so I can't use L fire yet. So that's concerning. Um, we will be fighting Lagoos here, so it's best to have that fire in any ways. Um, otherwise, yeah, everyone's set. Let's go. Tell me, Soren, are you alright? Hmm. Recently, ever since we reached Benyon, in fact, you seem depressed. Is that so? How odd. Well, I can't think of anything specific that's bothering me. Well, if you say so. So it's time for the desert. Which is the best direction to enter from? Soren? Huh? What is it? Alright, I know there's something going on. I'm sorry. I was thinking. What is it you wanted? Well, I was going to ask you for a direction, but it's no longer necessary. It looks like we're being met. Ah. Who are you? Answer me. We're mercenaries. We were hired to take care of a group of bandits operating in this area. More of the senator's dogs. You cast us thieves so you can murder us and hide in your guilt. We will not be defeated. Mark my words, the day will come when all slaves are free and they will pay you for your crimes. What on earth are you talking about? No more useless lures. Come, my brothers, take them! <laughs> what? We're facing Lagoos? I don't like the looks of this. Lagoos or no, it doesn't change the fact that they are brigands. Do not lower your guard. I know what I'm doing. Everyone, watch your footing in the sand. Take care and fight well. Alright. So we don't really need everybody, but we are going to use quite a bit of people. Um, I need to pull up my map as well. Where is my map? Because we need to know where all the treasure is. Alright, so... The better treasure is kind of on the right side of the map, so I'll have Volk stay on the right side for now. Um, but they also have to go that way. So some of these guys are going to transform on the first turn, but some won't. That will give us a good opening to attack them first. So I'm actually going to have Jill go left. I'll have Marcy attack this one in the front first. My horse users, they're probably not even going to see much combat, so almost no point in bringing them, but at the same time, I might also have them on the field just in case. Yeah. Alright, so that should be pretty set. You know what? I was also thinking about it. Maybe I should have I should have transformed Soren. You know what, let's transform Soren so he can use staves just in case I need him. Let's do that. Magic resistance, wow that was fantastic. Last change. Hey, okay, once again we can't skip this. Alright, so for the desert chapter we just need to get the Veikai which will be in the hands of Stefan. We need to use Lethe to go to get him. The White Gem, Statue Fragment if we want money, Physic, Boots. That's pretty much it as far as good items. Shine, Silver Blade, Guard are just more money basically. Alright. So his survivability definitely increases a little bit. Get him a staff real quick. Where are you? So I'm not going to need the wind here, I don't think, so that'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Alright, this should be good. Let's start. So if we attack this guy, he will transform. 
God, even untransformed, I still can't even double him. He has a lot of speed. Alright, um, well that's not good. I can't even double him with Lethe, oh my goodness. This guy is quite powerful, uh, Lagoos. And I don't remember how much transformation gauge they get when we attack them, so we may need to work together, actually. HP speed, that's not great. So I don't have enough to kill. That's not good. I have 16 attack. Shouldn't have enough defense, right? So if we hit, this should be good for Volk to get the kill. I miss. Of course I miss. Why wouldn't I miss? That's very typical. And he has 15 speed. My goodness. That's not good. So Volk would have been able to kill, but unfortunately I missed, so it doesn't matter now. Uh, this guy should not transform, so we should be safe. I'll just have Volk getting away for now. I found the coin! Alright, uh, over here. These guys aren't transforming yet. This flyer will though, so I should attack here. And I can't double that guy either. He has 7 speed. I don't even have speed. My goodness. That's terrible. Either way, I'm going to attack. HP speed. My goodness. It's not good. I also equipped my Lagoos Guard again too. So, Flyers, I think they get 7 movement. 1, 2, 3. I think Soren should be safe if he attacks this guy. Since he's untransformed, I'm just gonna use my thunder. Alright, and everyone else can just kinda huddle together. Now, uh, my Cavaliers are just going to sit tight, I guess. There's nothing they, they can really do right now. I'm surprised he didn't attack Soren then. I'm pretty sure he could have reached. So I should be able to use Soren to kill. Yes, I can. Perfect. Soren kills this bird, and then Joe can attack the other one. These guys aren't transforming yet, so I can just move up all the way. Over here, uh, we've got some trouble. My goodness. If I attack this guy, this guy will transform. So we'll just keep our distance for now. hit. We can kill. Nice.
And once again, Astrid levels another great level. Still needs strength, but she's getting everything else that she needs, which is amazing. Alright, we can heal Volk as well. Should be okay for now. We'll take our time with it. You know, we don't have to rush everything. Oh! You're in my way. Now the bird won't come after me. <laughs> so Volk should be able to do this one damage, right? Yes. So if we attack with Lifa again, don't kill. Thank you. Anyways, Volk can get the kill. Which is amazing. Now, this guy's not going to transform just yet, but this, these two will. You gotta be careful for that. Can't attack, but that's okay. Um, guess I'll just attack from range. Nice hit. Every little bit helps. Hope we get some strength and speed. Luck and resist. Wow, that's so bad. Why do you keep sucking so bad? So, my Marcia is turning out to be absolute trash. That sucks. Say, at this rate, I may have to drop her too. Because it's not worth using her, she's just gonna die. Alright, so once Boyd lures in the bird, I don't think he can kill it. Astrid can then get the kill. That might go that way. So you guys slowly start to transform, but I should be fine with Soren as well. I cannot double any of these guys, it's terrible. think about it, I could use someone else to get the kill, actually. Like Volk. The Physic is on this corner, so actually, uh, not in range, but that's okay. Volk can get the kill, let's do that. He needs all the EXP we can get, because he's not going to be fighting as much every chapter. Nice level. And of course, the stronger he gets, the better he can steal things. Yeah, this chapter is probably going to take too long. Uh, the video might end after this this chapter. We'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, this guy is not going to transform just yet, but we can move up.
hit him. Lovely. One HP, fantastic level. I love it. I love everyone just not wanting to level up good. It's a recipe for success, right? Love it. I probably should have just brought soul just so you can help me find the treasure. Oh well. I guess that's what these guys can do. Do everything, man. Let him go. Seven. Okay. None of these guys are faster than me, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. So I could track both of them. Heal just in case. He had to go on the right side. He couldn't have gone on the left side or the cat attack first. That sucks. Now I only learned one in. You know that. Perfect. If Lethe attacks it again, Volk can get another kill. Because apparently he likes to level up decent Red and Marcia. Oh, it's so questionable if I want to keep using you now. Because you. I gave you the fighter ban, you're still not even increasing HP or strength. Like, what is that? It's terrible. Speed, skill, and defense. Nice. Speed luck. Alright, Astrid had a bad level. That's okay. She's bound to have bad levels every now and then, right?
Soren, level up. First level is the Sage. HP Strength and Skill. Alright, I'll take the Strength. That's really good, actually. Not that my my weapons right now have much weight to them, but we can, should be able to use tomes, tomes really easily now. Oh, I just realized I put Soren in range. Oh my god, that's so stupid. It's alright, he's not, he's not gonna die. <laughs> that was dumb. Oh. So it should be here somewhere. The guard skill. So if I... Cavaliers can find that, that'd be great. Ouchie. I decided to check Jill anyways. She missed a bird again. My goodness, that's so bad. So I won't die in one shot. But not to say I should risk that, right? Because Ike does need to be level 20, so... HP strength, or speed. Wow, that's also a bad level. Why, why is no one leveling up good anymore? It's like everyone decided to just be stupid. It's terrible. Alright, if we attack this guy, he should detrans on his turn. Which will mean I'm safe. Should. <laughs> Maybe I should back off just in case. Alright, there we go. The crow is running. Why are you running? Guy's boring. He wants to heal. That's why. Okay. Interesting. I knew that was far fetched. Oh my god! Volk can kill everybody. That's crazy. I might as well just have him get the kills. Like, why not? Why not? You're doing everything. He's literally stronger than Marcy. Like, that's insane. He's a thief. <laughs> there we go. We should be fine in that regard. Alright, you go up to go get the big Kadi, slash Stefan. And then everyone else can just kind of wait for now, I suppose. This kill goes to Jill. Alright. 
I might as well have a sword and maybe go find it. Here. Use your fire up. My companions and I are not thieves. I sh I'm sure you can not care less, though. XP level up. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. No defense, but that's still beautiful regardless. Alright, we finally had a, a beautiful level from somebody. And look at Volk killing a tiger. Use this whole fire up. So one whole fire practically gave me my D rank. That's crazy. I need to use the whole thunder to. Oh, my thunder is ready, D. What the hell? I mean, notice that happened. Never mind. And with that, Volk kills a tiger. Woohoo! How many times is that? Four? Four levels up for Volk in this chapter? Ooh, bad level. Okay. Alright, once he finds the statue frag, I'm gonna fly him up to find... Never mind! I found the statue frag, and now I will fly him up to find the white gem. This will go that way. Okay, that was a... Uh... Physics should be right here. Somewhere. And the boots are at the top. Jill level up. HP skill, wow. And the bad levels continue. Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. So we just need to find the treasure, and then we're done. So there's the white gem. It should be... Right here? Nope. Boots are already in this corner. No, no one can find anything. I definitely should have had Soth on this chapter. I did have the extra slot. So keeping that in mind, I'm actually just going to skip ahead so I can save time on the video. So I'll be right back and meet you guys at the boss. Okay, so real quick, I did... Uh, level up miss. Um, I didn't realize she was all the way max e EXP. She got a really good level increasing HP, magic, sp speed, luck, I think, and resistance. It was a really good level. So, yay, that's awesome. Um, we are also at the boss. We found all the treasure. Yes, we did. We also got Stefan. 
again, comes with the Veikai S sword. No one's really going to be using it as far as I know. Um, but as a character, he is really strong and he does come with the skill Astra. So if we need another character, we can use him. Usually I don't use him because he is a little overpowered. But we can also still chip down this guy, Marion, with Astrid. Look at that juicy XP. And then we can heal with Soren. So, yeah, we'll kill the boss on this next turn once we're done healing everybody. Uh, I believe Jill will get the kill. So I do want her to finish the level as soon as possible. Goodness, definitely gonna attack from range. Come on, Jill. Oh, you know what? I don't need to attack from range because I have the I have the Lagoos uh, guard on. I'm I'm funny. All right, we're going close combat. More healing for me, right? I forgot I had that on. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. No. <sighs> we lose. You're the leader of this band, aren't you? Yes, I am. I resist you no further. Take me with you or execute me here. I care not. But my companions, would you let them go, please? No, I won't allow it. Huh? I won't let you take Marum. Stay back, little one. You're not supposed to expose... If you want Marum, you have to take kill me first. You're... Yes, he is Bjork's child. I claimed him when he was a little more than an infant. Infant. He has nothing to do with us, subhumans. Stop lying. I'm here because I want to be. Who's the leader of the list? Oh, the Lagoos Emancipation Army. I am. You're being a jerk, Maru. Trying to cover for everyone and get yourself killed. I won't allow it. Little one. Hey, I don't care who the real leader is. A Lagoos who calls himself a subhuman is protecting a kidnapped Bjork who claims to lead a Lagoos Emancipation Army? Do I have that right? Because if I do, I have absolutely no idea what any of you are talking about. Would someone please tell me what is going on here? Alright, please go over that again. It's been customary throughout Benyon's history to keep Lagoos as slaves. That's right. But that's in the past now. Twenty years ago, all slavery was outlawed and all Lagoos were freed. And as far as the general public is concerned, that is exactly what happened. So there's a portion of society that's willing to break the laws? The commoners obey, but there are still many Lagoos slaves in the homes of nobles. Murram and I brought this to the intention of the sinners, but they would not listen. That's why we gather other fighters. We break into the homes where slaves are kept and help help them escape. Of course, the nobles can't let this be known publicly, so they brand us thieves and turn us into wanted outlaws. Alright, I think I understand your moves, but you're not going to solve the basic problem this way. We know that, but we can't give up and leave them in chains. We can't and won't. Do you mind if I try to help? Huh? This is sort of this is this sort of Bjork behavior is something that's been bothering me. I think there may be something that I can do. Hey, Sala, stop this foolishness. Where are you taking me? Tell me! It's only a little farther. I'll tell you once we arrive, just as I promised. I left no word with Tabarn. Had, if I had known we were coming this far, I would have left a message. Serenus Forest. Here we are, and this is what she wanted to show you. Look below you, Rayson. What do you see? What is this? How is this possible? What happened here? This is Serenus? Is this what you're trying to tell me? This colorless vista, these cracked and withered branches, these lifeless trees, this is my forest? <laughs> you 
The ancient tongue. It's been a year and year since I heard it last. You can still speak it. The voice of the forest is still... Why? How did this... It's been like the since your clan's been gone. The area near the entrance is especially bad. They used fire. Most of the trees are dead. Unforgivable. How can they do things like this? Cursed humans. What did this forest do? What did my clan do? Humans hold all the goose in contempt, and in the same way, they all they hold all of nature in contempt as well. They think everything exists for their pleasure and betterment. They are beneath contempt. Nisal, it appears that I have misjudged you. I called you a groveling toady to humans and labeled you a traitor. I was overly harsh. I apologize. Not to worry. I engage in occasional commerce with humans. That much is true. I more A more pressing issue is the growing darkness. You can return to Venetia's tomorrow, can you not? I'm certain that some noble has a villa in this area. At this time of year, it is almost certain to be empty. I suggest we borrow it for the evening. You would sleep in a human building? Think about it. Bird folk like you and I have no night vision whatsoever. If we were discovered by humans, they would surely overwhelm and capture us, right? Hmm. I see your point. Very good. I'll go stumble around until I find something to eat. Please, make yourself comfortable. Nixala. Yes? Thank you. I for everything you've done. I appreciate it. Don't be ridiculous. We're old friends, aren't we not? Right you are, old friend. Is everything in place? Yes. That Duke Tannis cannot sit still. He is literally quivering with anticipation. It's not pretty. I bet it isn't. Just make sure that the mountain of suit mountain of suet stays hidden. If racing catches so much as a glimpse of his bulk, he will take wing. Understood. Now, time to put on the finishing touches. This too. I do race up to kill us. <sighs> race, and please don't judge me too harshly. That being said, I'm sure you will. Ah, uh, such is the life. Enjoy your new one, old friend. Alright. Hour 42 in. Man, this next one's going to be a little long too, but we'll see. Chapter 16, The Atonement. What is this? Who are you? What have you done with Nisala? Oh, this is something everyone should see. There can be no doubt. A gaze upon the last living wonder of the Serenus royalty. Those golden locks witness how they gather in the morning sun and multiply its brilliance. The gentle, the gentle lustre of those urgent rings manifests proof of royalty as sure as I am alive. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. A true work of art brought in fresh and feather. Ah, this, all this beauty is mine. The fortune I paid the Raven King seems like a pittance compared to this treasure. What? They saw us sold me? To you? Oh, 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 you are exquisite, even in rage. Now, if you behave yourself, I'll grant you a life of luxury. Ah, my nose, my beautiful nose. Bishop Oliver, you wing freak, you'll pay for that. No, you mustn't harm him. You mustn't ruffle a single feather of those gorgeous wings. My beauty, you mustn't be frightened. In time, you will come to see how kind and terrible a master I can be. This is madness. Oh, so frightening. How delicious. But I fear we must now be separated for a short while. Loyal servants, attend my words. You must not raise a hand to this one. Prepare his meals with care and do not disturb his rest. I would not see his, his countenance marred by displeasure. Herons, you see, are such a delicate thing. And then, at the proper time, yes, the proper time will, will it be. I say to you, the, those haunty senators and their ilk have looked down their noses at me for the last time. I shall show them all. Oh, but I must have a grand stage, one where none can fail to see me. The Serenus royals are creatures of legend, and when I arrive with one at my side, I can hardly wait to see Duke Gatos's face. Oh, 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 oh. They saw you, wretch. Curse your eyes. How dare you do this to me? Back at the Mino of Castle or Cathedral. I've brought him. Well done, Ike. I shall see that you are well rewarded. Where's your usual entourage? I see only two of your holy guard. Oh, there was some sort of disturbance. I think they're clearing away the rabble. On turn on, now but on to business. Is that the one the ringleader of the thieves? Why he's nothing but a child. Has he offered up any kind of defense for his deplorable actions? We are no thieves. We are trying to free the lagoos that our filthy aristocrats hold in captivity. What manner of absurd fairy tale is this? In the year of Banyan 624, the apostle of Misah Misaha, my honored grandmother, emancipated every last lagoon slave. In accordance with her law, today there are not a single slave to be found in all of Banyan Empire. 
You lie. Countless, countless noble houses even now keep Lagoos as servants or entertainment or worse. And the Senate, those vast windbags grant tacit approval for doing no by doing nothing. That's enough. I told you to keep a cool head. But, Ike, why ever would you bring such an ill-mannered rogue to meet me? What is it you're planning? If anyone's planning something, it's you. Really? And what could you possibly mean by that? Your last mission showed us the slave trade, and now you put us in contact with an underground emancipation group. From the very beginning, I found this whole arrangement a little odd. Uh, you have more vassals than you can use, yet you hire us for these missions. Your motivations have me puzzled. Oh, I see. And have you solved this puzzle of yours? You want to expose the depravity of the inner circles of power, but you don't want the general public to know that the majority of the Senate is involved in slavery. And to think I thought you were as untutored as a wild monkey. You're actually quite bright. I didn't figure it all by myself. I have companions whom I trust with my life. They helped. Hey, hold it. What in the world are you talking about? Would someone like to explain this to me? The Apostle is aware of the Lagoon's slavery. On top of that, it appears she intends to do something about this problem. Are you serious? I am. However, whether I succeed or fail depends largely on what you do next. So be it. I think it's time you told us about the next job you have lined up for us. I received reports that Bishop Oliver, the Duke of Tannis, is up to something suspicious. Duke Tannis has a villa near the woods of Serenus. Go there and return with irrevocable proof of whatever he's doing. If you succeed in this, I promise to support your Princess Alinsu with all the power at my command. We'll bring back whatever animation is you're looking for. Be ready for us. And battle reports. Nothing special. Volk was MVP, my goodness, because he apparently is so good. He can kill the goose, no problem. <laughs> there are no deaths. We've performed admirably. Awesome. Alright. Marum. <clears throat> Marum. Little one. How, how was it? Were you treated roughly? Did they attempt to punish you? No, it was nothing. And the apostle, I thought she'd be some mean old hag, but she's just a kid. Really? She's even shorter than I am. Little one, you must lower your voice and watch your tongue. What? Why? Rest easy, Marum. Everyone in this room is with me. The apostle has no ears here. That is good. Marum? Speaking of the ill of the apostle here is considered treacherous. Or treasonous. Keep it up and they'll kill you. Or threaten to. What? Little one, while we're here, please choose your words with more care than you have shown. I beg of you. Oh, all right. I understand. For Lugus, you seem to know more about the qu uh, court etiquette here more than my fellow Bjork, Tormod. Tormod. Bah. That's because I don't know how much any of this stuff. That's all. It is no matter, little one. Ike, the reason I am familiar with the customs of Banyan Knowles is I myself was a slave. What? Oh, no. For generations, my family served as slaves to one house. They were wealthy and powerful, senators all. As a child, I was raised never to question my station as a slave. From the day I was born, the most grueling physical labor was as natural as breathing. I knew nothing else. To ensure we were liked by our masters, we were drilled to, in the etiquette of polite society until it became second nature. We were slaves. We did what we could to live as long as we could. The most important thing was not to incur the wrath of our masters. If, if we displeased them, we were punished. If we were lucky, we were beaten. If we were unlucky... Mariam, that's enough. I'm sorry, Lord Ike. It is a for if a sor former slave like myself is present, all of you will be judged, scorned, and looked down upon. I came here to ask if you would take care of something for me. I would have you take care of the little one. Why would you say such a thing? If you are born a Lagoo slave, you're not allowed to be free. That's not right. That's why we promised each other we changed all of that. We made a promise. Lagoos like Bjork would build homes and plant fields. Families would live together in peace and freedom. That's the world we dreamed of. That's a dream that belongs to us as former Lagoo slaves. We don't need the help of a Nord Bjork like you. What? Little one. Does it really warrant that much concern? Huh? Since I first arrived in Banyan, something that's been bothering me. If you're born into a noble house, you're a noble. If your parents are slaves, you're a slave. Do you think a person's worth is decided at the moment of their birth? That's something I can't understand where I can't understand a country where it passes for normal. I just can't. Those don't sound like the words of someone working for a Princess Crimea. Princesses are princesses because they're born into royal families, right? Are you going to deny that? No, you're right. And then say she is a princess. I don't th think we've treated her with more respect than any other employer we've had, but funny we've addressed her as princess the entire time, but I've never really considered what it meant. From where I stand, I think you're be you've been blessed. You were born in Bjork and raised in a country where a lenient social structure, that's an in inevitable life. It's so hard, I, no matter how I try, I never fully understand your pain. But listen, I didn't treat Lindsay any differently after I learned of her heritage. 
I'm not going to think of you or treat you different. Think of you or treat you differently just because you used to be a slave. That's not going to happen. You're you, and I'm free to think of that way if I want, right? Marum, there's nothing anyone can do about your past, but your burdens you carry. And I know I don't know everything that's going on, but you shouldn't be the, trying to push Tormod away. He's dedicated to you, and being with you is his choice. It's part of his freedom. I see now. I will go and find him. If being those in the temple is uncomfortable, I can go and bring him back. What do you think? No, I can do it. I have a good nose. Tracking the young one's scent while avoiding other bureaucrats is an easy task. I see. Ike, I want... I mean... Never mind. May your friendship be true and enduring. I share your sentiment. Our troop will have you for as long as you wish. My god, that's a lot of talking. Which is good. That's one thing I like about these games. Especially, like, majority of the Fire Emblem games. It's the dialogue. All the dialogue they put into the game, that's why I love these games. And that's also why I love this game so much. But, man, that's a lot of talking. Whew. Taking a lot of time in the video, too. That's for sure. Stefan. What the? Um, who are you? How long have you been a member of my troop? I joined after the battle in the sands. My name is Stefan. I apologize for not introducing myself earlier. Why are you here? In part, it's because I'm curious, but mostly it's the guiding hand of fate that has led me to you. Huh? In the desert, I watched the dance of your sword. You have a unique style, but it is incomplete, filled with hesitation. You have recently lost your teacher, no? Uh... Luckily, your foundation is quite strong, which is why I can be of service. Your technique, how powerful it will be when perfected. I would like to know. Who are you? You can learn the dance of blades from me without knowing my history, can you not? What say you? Let your heart decide. I understand. If you can help me perfect my technique, I will gladly accept an invitation to learn from you. Then prepare yourself. Come, attack me with all your strength. Yay, we get a cold scroll. Alright, supports. Uh, don't think we are going to have anything. Oh, we got Kieran and Oscar. Let's go. Oscar! Hi, Kieran. Still hanging in there, huh? I can't take it anymore. Come back! We join the proud brotherhood of the Crimean Knights. This is sudden. As a former Crimean knight, surely you have some sense of loyalty. What say you? Rejoin for the king and country. The homeland is in danger. Any who used to be Crimean knights should come rushing to her aid. You have a point, and I'm glad I'm able to help rebuild the homeland, even if it's as mercenary. I'm not here to make you glad. I'm here to convince you to become a knight again. You're not fulfilling your allegiance to sweet Crimea by being a mercenary. How can you sleep at night? I love Crimea, but I'm happy here. I want to serve Ike as a member of the Grail Mercenaries forever. Darn, why? What draws you guys such a life? What could make the mercenary life so appealing that you would sell your loyalty to our, to our gross, uh, glorious homeland, Crimea? Ha! Huh? Could it be the nice fat salary? That's it. I remember you saying that you needed money. Oh, loose lips sink ships. If I wanted money, I could just stay with Crimea Knights. I only get half of, about half of that now. What in the... Bah, wake up, man! Can't you see you're being duped? Honor, fortune, glory, it can be yours! I doubt it. Bah, I say, you're hopeless. Who's hopeless? Cool. Uh, Miss and Jill. Does that taste good, Jill? Hmm, yeah, it really is good. Why? Because I made it. I'm glad you like it. You made this? Yep, I call it Miss Magical Meatloaf. And it's chock full of stuff that's good for you, especially when you're sick. You look really sad and you never eat, so I thought this would make you feel better. You're worried about me? Why are you so nice to me? I'm dating so- Stop, please stop saying that. Why? It's true. Because it makes me feel bad, that's why. You're always saying, I'm a Dayan soldier, everyone should hate me, blah 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 blah. You're not a bad person, Jill. I want you to be your friend. And you make it really hard. My friend? Alright. That's it. What does he get? Oh, he gets Colossus. Okay, so we're good there. Um, again, I'm going to do some outfitting. Um, hmm. Ah, this next chapter may take a while, but you know, I should endure and we should do it. So give me a moment to outfit and then we'll get started with the chapter. Alright, so I managed my inventory. Um, not too many big changes. I did change some bands around. So Marcy has the archer band. Astrid has the fighter band. I gave Kieran the night war. He needs a little bit extra speed. But, but otherwise he's good anyways. Obviously the extra defense and resistance will help him as well. Uh, he will be on the front lines after all. Unlike Astrid, she's been in the back anyway. So 
considering she's level 12 and everybody has 17 speed, she doesn't need the Night Ward right now, because chances are she will max out her speed. Um, otherwise, we are set to go into the next chapter, so let's get started right away. Is this the place? Yes, it is. It's rather heavily guarded. Even so, I think a direct attack would be a best chance of gaining entrance. Halt! Who goes there? What are you doing? This villa is the property of Duke Tannis, Senator of the Empire. No trespassing. I am Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Under orders of the Apostle, we've been charged with investigating the Duke. What? The Apostle sent you? Wait here a moment. Alright, brother. I'll, we'll sneak around out here and see what we can see. Good idea. Leave it to us. If we get stalked, we can talk our way out of it. Alright, miss. Let's get going. Yeah. What is it I hear? You lads claim to be here on the Apostle's business? We have a letter here that bears your seal. Hmm, well. I see. It appears genuine. Very well. I'm in a position to ask what exactly I'm suspected of doing. We're here by the Apostle's leave. Do you honestly intend us to make us discuss the private matter outside? Oh! No, no, of course, never. I would never insult. Please, come inside. Oh, slavery. Me. The Apostle would honestly accuse me of such unfashionable thing of slaveholding? Oh, ho, ho. Do you claim knowledge? no knowledge of such a thing? I've shown you every nook of my mansion, every cranny. I've been most thorough, have I not? And now y and you saw no trace, not a single sign of any of the goods here, did you? That is true. This accusation is absolutely ridiculous. To think that I, a bishop who serves only the apostles' will, would do anything to violate our country's Emancipation Act. Be certain that you tell the apostle everything. Tell her that Duke Tannis is upright and clean-handed. There's not even a shadow of falsehood in my noble eyes. Look into them deeply, my boy, and tell me what you see. Hmm? Well, eh, stop that. Back off. We have little choice, do we? I think it would be best if we left the time for the time being. Hey, Hall, you can't go in there. Huh? Ike! Miss, what is it? Ike, I saw him in a room on the top floor of this building. I saw someone. I think he was one of the bird tribe. He looked like he was trying to jump out a window, but he was forced away from it and back into the room. What? What is this? Traveling, babbling about. Someone from the bird tribe. Can you describe him? Um, he had long hair. It was sparkling like gold in his skin. It was so pale, almost translucent. And his wings, they were pure white. Is that accurate, Titanium? It is. I saw him as well. That can only mean there's a member of the Heron, in this Heron clan in this place. According to the books, only members of the royal Heron family possess white wings. It appears that there is at least one room we have yet to see. What is going to be, dude? Can you cooperate and show us this room that you have somehow forgot? Or... Guards! Kill them all! Don't let a single one escape! So this is how you want to play, eh? I thought I might come to this. Mercenaries, it's time. Look at him run. <laughs> Divnon hears the sound of battle. Yes, he does. <laughs> you dare bring conflict into Bishop Oliver's home? My lance will make you pay for your impudence. Alright, let's choose my units real quick. Alright, so because of the spaces, we don't need Mordecai anymore. Uh, an Astrid. So, I'm going to use her a couple times. Two levels. Two levels. If she does not level good in two levels at all, I'll drop her. Unfortunately. So, the good thing is I have Jill, who's decent, right? But if Marcia doesn't level up good, then I will drop her. Unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll see. For now, let's just focus on this chapter here. We got some lands uh, sword users in front, so... This is actually kind of perfect if you use Marcia to attack these guys. And Oscar, why not? My god. Alright. Well, can stay in the back since he can... He doesn't need to do anything. Alright, let's do it. We're two hours in, but we got this. We'll do this as quickly as possible. time.
<laughs> Only one fighter made up. It's funny. Okay, uh, Volk, can you chip damage this guy? Yes, perfect, actually. Oops. I meant to heal Volk, but that's okay. Stats. It's not bad. Nice. Good level. right now. Alright, I'll take that level. Three stats that he needs. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I'm safe. Dodge! Dodge! Yeah! Meet myself there, and there's a plane flying above. Get my microphone catching that. Yeah, good job, Astrid. Oh my god, I'm so weak, I can't even kill these guys. But of course, Volk's here, so he could do everything for us. Chip everyone down, get Marcia another kill. We're gonna rush up a little bit more. They're stronger guys. Of course, I, I knew I was gonna miss. I knew I was gonna miss. Marcia just wants to die. <laughs> Alright, here's the first level. Are we good? Good. She didn't even get a single stat. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. I can't believe that just happened. That's funny. Okay. Wow. I can't believe that just happened to me. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm letting myself get hit just so that Soren can get some heal training too. The mage is on the border of our range. Honestly, I'm just gonna hit him. I don't care if he starts burning me up. Alright. 
Oh, it's thunder. Hang on. I should have checked that. They probably have crit chances against me, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Move killed me. Another one's fire, though. So it won't be too bad. One more shove, like. Someone stronger. Dang, this guy could just murder me. That 2% is crazy. Do you have luck? Oh, no. Hit. Thank you. You actually did a good thing. Now I should be able to kill, right? That's cool. Should attack Joe or Oscar. Or Joe or Boyd. Which will be fine by me. As far as the soldiers that come from behind us, I'll deal with them as they come at us. Um, I want to. Usually I have Kieran just sit back and fight them, but this time I'm going to have Kieran with us in the front. Because I do want to fight and get ahead as soon as possible. Uh, so there's only a fire mage. Do you have anything? No, you don't. Can you kill him? Almost. Can you chip him down for me? Yes. And Volk can get the kill. Unless you get a crit. Perfect. Volk's like, bam, just kill him. Alright. Alright, over here. Let's see. So we got a sniper up here. He's going to be quite, quite hard to deal with, honestly. And we're not going to be able to dodge him. So I do need to be fairly careful. So maybe I'll put Oscar, like, right here. And then put Kieran right here. Nice dodge. I'll put Void right here. Oh, this is so slow. It's okay, that's why we have two healers now. <laughs> Okay. Arcia, honestly, I don't even know what I'm going to do with her. We'll see what happens. These knights are pretty durable, so we need to be careful. Make sure we don't rush in too fast, because we're going to get destroyed. I have one attacking us all at the same time. Owie. Alright, we have a thief. We need to go stop him if we can. Still gotta watch out for this guy. Alright, um, the mage. The mage didn't move. 
I am questioning why that is. I know these guys don't move, but I don't know if this this guy should have moved. It's kind of scary. Um, how much crit does this guy have? 23 crit. Okay, so he has 20 attack. Wait, yeah, it's 20 attack. Um, so that's nine. So boy can soak up that attack. Which I think I will have him do. That is deadly. This guy had a long sword. Ooh, that was that's dangerous. Wait, what does this guy have? Steel sword? A lot of speed too. Maybe I'll just Jill just kill this knight and then back down the staircase. Everyone should attack Boyd since he's right there dead center. And then everyone else can just kind of be around to help support. That sniper should move in and attack Boyd. this. Ouchie. And the knight moved too. Okay, that's perfect actually. Soren can easily kill the knight for us, since knights are very bad against magic. Alright, come on Kieran. Good level, huh? Woo! Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. Oh boy, he got healed. No healing him. God dang it. Right, Lethe's got one attack in her, so she could help us do stuff. Let's see where I want her to attack, though. That's the question. Uh, let's kill the knight first, if anything. It's like the most important thing right now. level up. Let's go. Nice! Oh my god. Here we go. These are the levels I'm looking for. Alright. Um, half damage. Hit. Nice! Oh my goodness. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Man, she can't do anything. I might as well just kill him with Boyd. Just get it over with, right? Don't want to risk anything stupid. 
Alright, cool. So that takes care of that. Um, we'll come over here for now. I need to get over there. So this guy, Devdan, has a heavy spear. Not really that useful, honestly. Um, and as, as a unit, he sucks, in my opinion. So, he is trash. I don't care if we kill him or not. But if we can get him instead, that'd be preferable so I can get the heavy spear. Not the biggest issue if I don't. This guy got meant. I have to kill this guy. I'm just gonna use my javelin here then. I'll have Kieran get the kill. Nice! Again, HP, speed, HP, strength, and speed. That's all I really want from Oscar. Really. And he's getting it to me. Thank you. I'm very happy about that. These guys just don't have much, right? Alright. Things are going good. Ooh, I dodged. Oh, I destroyed him. My goodness. He didn't like being attacked. Yeah, no damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's pretty funny. Alright, these soldiers in the back. Um. Lance. I might just have Jill go back and deal with them then. That's probably the best play here. There's 13 defense. They won't really destroy her, but I gotta be careful. So this priest is now in my way, that's okay. Oh, that thief's gonna get the chest, that's okay. Um, how strong is he? I forget what the uh, stealing in this game is. I think it's speed. It should be speed in the other games at least. So I should be able to steal whatever he does take from the chest, so that's not gonna be a problem. Please attract the mercenary down here. I'm actually going to steal your men, thank you very much. <laughs> Look, I can get some magic chain because I don't kill him. Gives EXP. And since Soren and Boyd are already transformed, they don't really need to get the kills. And then Soren, can you chip or are you gonna kill? You're gonna kill, okay, so that's fine too, I suppose. Here, what we can do is Soren can attack the mage. Both can get the kill, and 
Let's throw the Myrmidon. Maybe even Oscar can do it. Nice. Alright, so where's this guy's? Put I'll put Boyd in range. Like that. He should be fine. Hey, perfect kill for Oscar. Awesome. And I dodged. Excellent. And we need healing. Marcy does. Gotta heal every turn if you can. Alright, Jill. Start engaging the soldiers. They should be faster. Not that much faster though, never mind. I'm still gonna only do one attack, so I'll just have my steel lance out. And then Astro can sit still for now as well. Perfect, Devnon attacks. Forgiveness, please, Devnon will try to restrain himself. Owie! I thought you said you were gonna restrain yourself! Nice dodge. Nice dodge again. Oh, I doubled. Holy crap. Oh, that one must have the steel lance then, huh? And it must weigh him down. Alright. As long as I could use my uh, iron lance. Kill these guys. Lovely. So I should be okay to attack all of them then. Since I didn't get hit. Okay. Um, so what I can do is talk here as Soren. Uh oh, this won't do. Youngsters like you aren't supposed to be fighting, you know? What was that? And who are you supposed to be? Devnon is not supposed to be anyone. Devnon is in prison for looking at the flower garden. The punishment for trespassing is to work here for an entire year without pay, unfortunately. And then, are you are you telling me this is? Are you telling me this so that I will let you go? A moment, wait a moment. Devonon has does not fight children. If that's true, then why not switch sides and join us? If you become a member of the Grail Mercenaries, we would pay you for your services. That would be an honor. Please allow Devonon to join you. Our contract is complete. Then I will pass along the terms of the agreement to Commander Ike. Now then, I expect you to do your best. Understood. Devonon is very hardworking. And I can still use Soren to attack. Cool. Since now I know that even when you talk, you can still take action afterwards as well. Um, what can we have you guys do? I need healing. Oh, almost mentor. Level up for Astrid. Excellent level. Look at that. Beautiful. Why can't everyone level like her. Oscar can get this kill. Oh no, wait. Uh, maybe, can you kill this one? Oh god, the movement. No, we cannot double. But we can hit and then move. Because there are archers. So I'll do that. And then Kieran can get this kill. And then move up. The sword and the archers should attack Kieran. That'll be fine though. You just stay out of harm's way. Alright. And that that is actually good. So let's shove you down. Shove you across. And let's steal this one. Oh, let's go this way. Okay, so it doesn't matter, I'm still blocking. <laughs> you want to leave a pass so that the thief can get by to the chest. Alright, and that's good.
Jill's doing really good down there. Oh, even better. Nice crit. No damage, sucker. Perfect kill. Lovely. Good job, good job. Alright. I'm running really a little on javelin, so I'm just going to go over here and use it on that guy. Oh, perfect. I can chip this guy down with Karen. That way, someone else can get the kill. Or heck, I could have just used Oscar. Because now I have one extra javelin. That's okay. Um... Oh, <laughs> kill this guy. Get all the EXP you can. Alright, decent level. Healing, let's see. Heal you. Yeah, the thief has no choice but to come this way, so... Mouse will get bow training. Perfect! There you go. Rank C, right? Yeah, lovely. That was a perfect rank up. <laughs> That's funny. Level up for Jill. Let's go. Not the best, that's for sure. Oh well. Alright. The thief just wants to try and get away, so obviously it's a good thing I blocked the exit because he apparently doesn't want to go after the chest. And perfect, the soldier attacked Oscar, so now he loses his javelin for one final kill. Alright, I will be right back for just a quick second, pausing. Okay. Alright, let's finish this. Alrighty. Thief. Physic. I should be able to see. Inventory full. It is. Uh, here, miss. Give me one of these. <coughs> now I should be able to steal it. Yes, sir. And I get the bolting for killing him. Perfect. I had a feeling I was going to miss. I had a weird feeling I was going to miss that. Uh... Perfect. Alright, cool. So let's gather all my guys over here. I think there's a few guys in there that we can kill. And then after that, we can finish the chapter. And that they transforms again. All right, see Volk over here. Here, take this off my hands. Ooh, that's scary. Mages, who can stand thunder? Who has enough luck? What does that? Fifteen crit. I don't think anyone has fifteen luck. That they has fifteen luck. And of course, there's Soren who won't die to him either. None of my characters. Oh, Void has that much luck. Maybe I'll have Void do it. We'll see. I forget who's inside there, so we'll just use these guys. Oh! Why 
is rescue the top option. It's still yours, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, hell, I might as well kill you myself. <laughs> Use my knife up too. I'll take Soth knife, so that way I want to buy another one. <laughs> Three guys. Okay, so it's a good thing I, I had a couple of people over here. Uh, what we got? Killer Lance. Ooh, that's scary. Iron Sword. Uh, he has 22 attack. So that's 8. I'll have Lithate stand here first. Scarcher. Yeah, so I could stand here. And one moves to this side. And I'll be safe. I'll have Misk over there as well. So yeah, you can have fun with this guy. <laughs> uh, Volt, let me get these chests. Full guard, nice. Don't kill him though. Yeah, don't get it Yay. That way someone else can get the kill. Kieran or Oscar that being the two. <laughs> Nice chip damage. Perfect. Um, let's get Jill this kill. Perfect damage. And you can't kill him. That's an unfortunate. What about you? Can you help kill? Yes, you can. Yeah. I missed. <laughs> of course I missed. That's okay. Um, that being the case, then I can just attack. Why not? Uh, yeah, because boy's just going to kill him, so it doesn't matter. That's fine. All good. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Oop. Too close. Uh, 17 and 18. Oh, shit. Do you have a high chance? Let's do that instead. Because that crit is just scary. Speed and defense. Alright. Not the best, but hey, you know, you turned out a little bit better than I thought you would. That's what matters. Oh, and Soren wants to kill. Alright, so Soren gets the kill on this guy. Poor Karen, he doesn't get the kill. But he can get the boss kill, probably. Soren gets a level. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Wow, what the hell? Putting everyone else to shame, that's for sure. This guy has a crit against Karen. What the hell? <laughs> oh man. That's not good. Does Marcia give extra support? Probably not. No. Nothing worth mentioning at least. Alright. Wow, that's unfortunate. How many chests in there? Two. Alright. Miss. <laughs> that's okay. That's alright. I saw it coming anyways. Alright, let's kill this archer. Right, so you go over there. Can you kill kill him? No. So we'll use Jill first. And 
and then Asher can get the kill. Alright. Alright, because of that, I only need to get the chest. Um, I'll wait I'll wait to kill the boss until everyone's there, so I'll see you right there. Alright, so folks here getting the chest. And then uh, I actually leveled up Mist uh, off screen. Um, she got one HP and one magic. That's it. So disappointing level. But that's okay. It's not the biggest. It's not the end of the world. This guy. Um, so probably what is that? 26. So you have 12 left. Do I do 12 damage? I don't, right? No, I don't. So I need to chip him down even more. So I could use my hand axe and then have him die to Kieran. I think that might be the play. This is the domain of my master, Bishop Oliver, the Duke of Tennis. You will learn that no one no one in Pug Pugnans his honor and lives to walk away. Okay. Nice dodge. Good job, Boyd. Almost said Kieran. <laughs> Good job, Boyd. And Kieran should now get the kill. Yeah. Beautiful. What? What fate is this? Is it just punishment for my complicity in this evil? Come on, Kieran. Good level. Yeah, I he's just stats he needs, right? Speed and defense. Where's the strength? God dang it. Where is the strength and the skill, no less? Alright, so that's that. And then you can get the last chest. And we can seize. All on the same time. Perfect. Everyone's alive. Alright, good. Alright, we got everything. Let's go. Ah! Oh, my sweet, beautiful little bird. Don't be frightened. Come and let us fly away together. Stay away from me, you filthy fat man. Ugh. Come quietly. You belong to me. I will not give you up. No one shall take you from me. Though the price may be my life, I will never cooperate with you. Hey, where are you? Duke Tannis. Are you in here? Ah, no. Duke Tannis. Who are you? Ah, you're the you're, you're the sirens. Are you unharmed? Have you come, we have come to help you. Your injury. Did that man do that to you? This wound must be tended to. Stay back. But do not approach me, cursed human. My now cathedral. The grow missionaries have returned. Ah, Master Ike. It is good to see you well. How went the mission? Did you unearth any meaningful proof? Where is the Apostle? Master Ike? I must speak with the Apostle. Where is she? Apostle Sanaki is in the garden, having a pleasant conversation with Princess Alencia. I will go directly and see if she will meet with you. Please wait here. In the garden? Great. Ah, uh, Master Ike, no, you mustn't behave so. You will cause such problems. Apostle! What? You! What are you doing? How dare you approach me unannounced? This is most inappropriate, and I will not... What has happened, my Lord Ike? All of it. I want to hear all of it. Now! What are you talking about? Master Ike, one must not speak to the Apostle in such a discourteous fashion. Twenty years ago, something happened in Serenus Forest. Something terrible. I want to know. What? Master Ike? What happened twenty years ago? You found one of the Heron clan? And a Serenus noble, no less? One of them still lives? But that... Such a thing. Apostle Sanaki. Tell me. That is a very difficult problem. Hmm. How to impart this tale? It would appear that no one is willing to begin this story. That being so, I would open with what is commonly known of the matter. Do you find this acceptable? And you are? He is a friend of mine, Monsieur. If you have something to say, or if you have something, if you know something, I would hear it. When you are done, the Apostle can clarify. Agreed? Hmm. It begins with the assassination of the previous Benyon Apostle. It was 20 years ago, one year after the Declaration of Am Emancipation was made. The leader at the time was the Apostle Misaha, who was more adored by the public than any other Apostle before, or since. 
When she was assassinated, the citizenry was racked with grief. All of Benyon despaired. And then a rumor began to circulate that assassination was the work of the Serenus Herons. In the twinkling of an eye, the rumor spread throughout the Benyon capital. One night shortly, after thereafter, shortly thereafter it happened, the citizens grew violent. They massed at the edge of the Serenus forest, home of the, of, of the supposed enemy, and it set to burn. The crowd raged on for three nights, and in the end, the Heron clan was lost. But their involvement was just a rumor, wasn't it? Why? Why did they? Oh, the shame of it. Apostle, the remainder of the tale is yours. You stand as the Empress of Benyon. You are responsible for the acts of your citizens, are you not? False. The accusation was completely false. The assassination of the Apostle was not the work of the Serenus clan? That is correct. The Heron clan possesses no fighting skills. Their tribe survived by living a life of peace and piety with their force. Unlike other Lagoos, they never focused on developing their strength or the purposes of combat. Anyone with any knowledge of Lagoos would have known such a thing. At the very least, the citizens of Banyan would have known this. However, they had lost their leader and in their grief they cared, cared little for the truth. They were merely looking for some way to vent their rage and despair. Isn't that true, Apostle? Please, Lord Nasir, your tone of voice. It's alright, Prince Zelensu. He speaks the truth, be it with a sharpened tongue or no. Ike, the bird tribes of Phoenicia target only Banyan ships with their piracy. The ravens of Kilvis af are after cargo so they attack everyone with equal vigor. The Hawk clans, however, hold the Heron clan as brethren and still remember the false accusations and their brutal murder. The Heron at Oliver's mansion, he slapped my hand away when I tried to help him. He had such hatred in his eyes. When he left from the window, he spoke to me. Remember the genocide, he said. Twenty years have passed, but I will never forgive what you did. Such needless pain. It may sound like utter hypocrisy, but my people regret deeply the actions of that horrific night. We stole the Heron clan from this world. Every time we see the blackened forest, our grave sins come back to haunt us. Apostle, you are honorable. The majority of the sinners have done their best to banish all memories of the Serenus and that night, yet you have resisted. That is your intent, is it not? You are not like them. You are attempting to take responsibility for the actions of your people. To undo the wrongs of the past, you launched your own investigation into the Lagoo's emancipation issue. You've even gone so far as to hire outsiders like Ike and his mercenaries to expose the problem, haven't you? Princess Silencia. Yes? I would like once more to make use of your escorts. Would you grant me this boon? Yeah, of course. That is, if Ike and his group agree. I have no objection to your proposal. Depends on what you want. The member of the Heron clan you met. I want you to find him. I want you to. I want to meet with him. And I want to speak with him. If that is your wish, we will do it. In any case, we will let. We let that monster Oliver slip through our grasp. We'll handle both tasks at the same time. I'm counting on you. And that's the end. All right, so whew, that was a whew, that was a long video. Uh, we were 2:44 in, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this really long one. Um, I don't know. The next one might be just as long as well. I don't know how long it's gonna take. We'll see. You guys know chapter 17. You guys know. If not, then you guys are in for a treat. Uh, so if you guys hit uh, like the video, hit the like button down below. Comment down below as well if you have anything to say. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Um, yeah, a lot of things going on. Obviously, we had some good levels. We had some bad levels. Fortunately, Marcia, she's probably going to get dropped. We'll see. I'll think about it again. We'll see. We'll all talk about it next time. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.